Hello, my name is Kathy Folger. I was an intern for the third season of Word Girl, and it was great, until things took a turn for the worst. The PBS station demanded more animation frames for the show to make the animation flawless. They told us that they wanted to convey a more animated series than their others. So Soup to Nuts, the animation group I was interning for, and the group that animated the show agreed, but they had never done such a feat. So they all worked day and night to get everything flowing right. As the animators drew, some members of the animation team were growing tired and the animation became more and more grotesque. I should know, I was there giving out coffee and other things for the team. I saw them from the sidelines, gathering together and conversing about an episode they were animating. It was called The Last Word, and it was going to teach children more advanced words like usual. When the head director brought all the animators to view the episode, he told the one animation group who were animating the last bits to bring the finalized version, but they did not respond. He went to their cubicles, and when he got there, they were all dead with blood stains on the alleged tape. The hospital was called and they were sent to the emergency room as soon as possible, but it was too late. They died of unknown causes. But we still had the tape so we decided to watch it in their honor and their hard work they put into it. As we all went into the viewing room, everything was suddenly very quiet. The screen flickered on and a scene of Word Girl started as usual. First the upbeat theme song played, followed by the opening sequence and the title card, but when the featured word was spoken, something was wrong. The narrator sounded distorted and demonic in some way and the words sounded backwards, like he was talking in tongues. We thought it was just a sound glitch so we kept going and pulled through the rest of the episode, but it did not get better. The characters started to lose color, and the animation became shockingly real and plasticine-like. It showed Word Girl, the beloved superhero spinning out obscenities and losing her cartoon style. We kept watching, as the horror on the screen unfolded. As we watched, the dialogue started to become backwards and static started to engulf the scene, as unholy creatures which we could barely make out appeared in the background. Word girl got worse, as scenes of bloodshot faces floated past her, as she turned to the screen. Her head went slowly around making a screeching sound, as she turned. We all sat there, and as her eyes rolled upward her eyes and her mouth opened and she made a sound. Some staff member said that she thought she heard her say from all good knowledge and power comes greatness, and the staff member said she stopped there. But we did not listen to her. We watched to the end, when it cut to a dark crimson red with a faded pale mask-like face. It just stood there on the screen staring at us, until it opened its mouth and letters in a jumbled order appeared. H-H-K-T-I-E-L-L-C-E-I-L-D. We all stopped watching it and the tape was gone. We couldn't find it in the VCR anymore and we assumed nothing about it. We went back to our daily lives, except for me. I never went back to the Soup to Nuts team again. I heard rumors that the video still was not found and they did not know why it disappeared in the VCR. I am now trying to forget about it but it still haunts me every night and I still get flashes at night of the face and the things which were Gerald said. Well, this is the end of my story and I have nothing else to say. I hear Word Girl is still making new episodes but I will never be a part of that again.